Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a Divi tutorial for the Divi events calendar users. I'm going to show you how to change that URL field where you type in a domain name. I'm going to show you how to change that into a button and that will show up like in the events feed or events carousel. And then when you click on it, it will actually take you directly to the link that you enter when you're adding your event details. And you can even open that in a new tab. So I'm really excited to show you how to do this. Let's get started. We sometimes receive support questions about things that are not really related to our Divi modules and relate more to the events calendar. And we always try to help because a lot of times, even though it, it's specifically related to code in the events calendar, it, it sometimes does affect you know, how the user would use our module. So I wanted to provide a tutorial on one of the big things we get asked about, and that is changing the website URL, and that's a field in events, in the events calendar. Um, they want to change that from displaying, you know, www.something.com you know, to, to words, and then style it as a button, and also that that button would open in a new tab. So there's lots of reasons that this would be handy. Um, you might want to just open in a new website, whatever, or you want to link directly to a Facebook page event or a Zoom meeting, maybe a YouTube live stream. Maybe you want to send people to register for an event to some kind of form, or you may want to send them to a site like, you know, Eventbrite or something where they can buy tickets. So there's actually a lot of good use cases for this. So I really wanted to make a tutorial and the first thing I did was Google, you know, how to change the website URL field into a button because, you know, why do the work if the events calendar already has done the work? And they have. I've provided the link here to their, um, their, I guess they call it their knowledge base, but basically a forum, people asking this kind of question. So it's actually fairly easy to find the solution if you Google it, but I wanted to show you some additional things and then I, I modified the code, made it better and all that. But basically I wanted to show you how this can be implemented and used when you're using our module like the events feed. So let's get started. Now we set to start by adding PHP code. So this is a programming language and it is a little, should say dangerous or whatever. Um, you have to be careful. You can't just, you know, be throwing PHP at your website like you would with CSS. Um, it's just a little different. It, it's actually the core, you know? And so if you mess something up, you could get locked out of your website and all that. So anyway, it, I'll, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So there's nothing to be afraid of. But basically, if you're using a child theme or if you're not, you need to be using a child theme. I should put it that way. You absolutely have to, there, you know, to use PHP, you have to use a child theme. So you can use our free one. If you don't have one, you can download that anyway. You can check out where to put the code and all that, but we're, I'm going to show you this first snippet that you're seeing here, change website URL into a button. This needs to be added into your child themes functions.php. So you would copy it all like that, you know, control C, copy it to your clipboard and then go over to your child theme. In fact, I'm going to be working on this site right here. It's, it's one of my development sites. Um, Basically, it's just a totally random sample set up here. And you can see website URL, <laughs> google.com, um, or this uh, farm.com. So anyway, it, we're going to change that into a button. Now, this is the more info button, just not to confuse you. This always links to your single event page, okay? We're not talking about that. We're probably going to turn that off just because it that's not what you want someone to do. We're not changing this button to go somewhere. We're changing the website URL field. And just to clarify, when I go to edit this event, the actual single event, I'll show you exactly this field because I don't want you to be confused. So right here, it's in the back end. It's the website that you add. Um, it's in a field here with the events calendar. It's the website that you put in here for the event website, right? So the event website could be somewhere totally different than where you have your events feed. In other words, you don't want to link to the single events page. You want to link to another website. And that's 
we're using that URL field and we're changing that into a button. I'm just gonna hop back to where we were and we're, that way when you see the change, you, you know, you'll see it there. Okay, so I'm going to my website, go to Appearance Theme Editor. Okay, that we're getting into um, the, the core of our website here. Now make sure that you're on your child theme. So right now I am, I am on my child theme and you can select that here. See, I can choose Divi, Extra, whatever ones are installed. So make sure you're on your child theme and then functions.php file, click that. Now, whatever code that you already have in here, you wanna go down to the bottom and just paste that snippet that we copied right there, okay? And then click this blue button, update file. So don't really touch anything else. Go to your functions.php file in your child theme, paste the snippet, and update the file. Now go back here, we're going to refresh the page. Remember, it's showing the www dots. All right, so now when we refresh the page, you can see that the website URL says visit website. And that's because in our code, we have those words. Now you could change those words to whatever, like register now or buy tickets, you know what I'm saying, like whatever. That's back here, right here. So where it says label and then equals, you just look for where it says visit website. And then well, here, I, I'll change it. Um, register for event, right? Yeah, you know, something like that. I'll just update that. Then go back here and refresh again. Okay, so there you can see that it updates that. Now, I added a second one here to show the icons or the labels. Now, those are options within the module to show labels in front of the, the items here or icons. And I wanted to show you because I want to show you how to remove them for just this item because a lot of times it's kind of in the way there. You know what I mean? Okay, so first of all, remember the thing with the button. You, you probably want to turn that off. I'll just show you that real quick. And maybe maybe you don't want to turn it off. Maybe you want to use that so someone can go to the single event page and get more information, um, but then you know have the other one for the for going to the other website. Okay, so under elements here, right here, there's all these options you can turn off. The where is it? The button. Oh, I can't even find it. There it is. Show more info button. You can turn that off. And then we're, we we could turn off um, anything else, turn on and off other things here, of course. Um, but basically that, that will allow us to link directly there. Now, if you wanted to, you could change the text of the, of the more, you could keep it on, right? And then down here, more info button. Here you could say, um, I don't know, view more details, right? Something like that. And then, so that would take you to the single event page. And then the other one would take you to the actual wherever you want to send them. All right, so let's get out of here. And I'm going to show you how to style that now as a button. So right now this one, you know, has the labels, um, you know, and stuff like that. So we're going to show you how to style. So back to the tutorial. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to mention this here. We have a second snippet that you'd want to add to your child theme as well. This one takes that link and opens it in a new tab. So right now, if I click on register for event, see how it opened in the exact same tab? Um, that would, you would add this to the child theme below where we just added the others. So you could come in here, um, you could just give it a space or something and add that, update the file. And then we'll refresh here and show you. That's kind of nice depending on, on what you want to do. It's not totally up to you. If you want that to open in a new tab or not. If I click here now, takes me to this um, new tab, okay? All right, so back to where we were, back to the styling. So here it's the next section in the tutorial. You can copy this snippet here. Basically, it's turning that that data there, the website URL line, into a button, all right? So we're gonna take that, and um, you could put this code in your page CSS, in your theme option, in your child theme, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you quickly using my nifty little Chrome extension here. 
Uh, it's called user CSS. So I can just paste that there. There you go. That's how your button can look. Now it, now it looks really awkward with the website URL label and see the icon. It just looks funny, like out of place there. Okay. So then go back here. Um, there I have before and after. You can see the link and then the button. Okay. Uh, a couple of tips here we'll get to. But then this here turns off the icon and the label for you know either one. So you could just use one of the two snippets here. Okay. This one turns off the icon and they're labeled, the one that turns off the label. But you see how it it still keeps the labels on the other items. Otherwise you could just turn it off in the module. Uh, but there you go. So there you could kind of do it like that where you know in your feed here someone's like okay i want to go to this event um instead of going you know to to the single event page like they would here they can just go to this website so i hope that you guys like this um and then you might want to disable this link we have a snippet like that on our our bonus customization resources page here let's see i know it's here somewhere disable the event title link right here so we could put that on there as well while we're at it might as well do that i could put that on the tutorial page so now i can't click to go because if you didn't want them going to the single event page at all then they can't click that i'll add that to the tutorial as well so there you go now if i go to um, click this button remember it opens in a new tab or if i go down here to go to the single event page and just to note right here, it also changes that into a button. So anytime, like this is the default, you know, website URL field showing here on this default page. We're not using our events module on here. This is just the plain old default single event page, but it does do it there as well. A couple other notes here. This first one is about the link collar. So like if you're trying to style this and you can't get the the um, that word there register for event you can't get it the right color it would probably be because in the module in the in the details text there's a link color um, you have to reset that set it to the default because otherwise that's going to take precedence like that's going to have more priority and so you have to just get rid of that it's, and that's fine um, and then obviously if you have like a border in fact here let me show you where's my preview like right here i had a border around these events events on our demo um and you can see that this one's longer um it's because of the extra spacing that was added so you may need to go into your events like in the events feed design tab events and then add some like event padding to the bottom Okay, so the in event padding is the inner spacing like around the bottom here of the of this card, like this whole event. Okay, so you may need to do that as well, depending on how tall your button is and all that. Okay, so there you go. There's a lot of use cases for that. So I hope you guys really enjoy that. And that's something that's very practical if you're using the events calendar, and especially if you're using our Divi events calendar. So be sure to check that out if you're not already using our plugin um, and see what that's all about and why that's so popular. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.